Good morning, all of you. In this session, I am going to explain about problems on inclined plane. Friction problems. These two are the example problems. In this session, I will explain about these two problems. <clears throat> Before going to the problems, first of all, you have to know the free body diagrams for inclined planes. Here, capital R is the reaction force, W is the self weight of your body, P is the applied force, F is the frictional force. Okay. Here, here you can observe this is a inclined rough, rough plane. Okay. For rough planes, you have to consider friction. Okay. Here, this is a block. W is the weight of a block. And this inclined plane makes an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal. Okay. This is the angle of inclination of the plane. Okay. Here, this is the this is the condition of uh, body, freely falling body. If you are not applying any external forces, then the block will move down like this. Okay, this is the direction of motion of your body. Okay, when we are not applying any external forces, okay, this is the condition of your freely moving body. Okay, now this is the direction of motion of your block. So, yeah. For solving the problems, first of all, you have to draw free body diagrams. So, W is the self weight, self weight of your body. So, already we know that self weight always acts vertically downwards. Okay, self weight always acts vertically downwards, like this. Okay, this is the position of a self weight W. Okay, this self weight W makes an angle alpha with respect to the reference uh, normal axis okay here you can observe this is a parallel reference axis parallel to the inclined plane this is a normal to the inclined plane okay <clears throat> so this self weight makes an angle alpha with respect to the normal axis okay now this is the reaction force okay Already we know that reaction force always makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the support. Okay, here the support is inclined. So this reaction force makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the support. Okay. <coughs> this is a parallel reference axis. This is a normal reference axis. Here. First of all, you have to convert this uh, vertical load W into two components along the along the inclined plane and normal to the inclined plane okay so you have to convert this w with respect to this vertical axis and this parallel axis so this is the <coughs> vertical component w cos alpha okay here this is a adjacent side okay this is the adjacent side for adjacent sides you have to consider cos alpha for opposite sides, you have to consider sine alpha. Okay, so this is the value. Other another component W sine alpha. Okay, these two are the components for self weight W. Okay, W cos alpha and W sine alpha. After that, you have to consider this reaction force as it is. Okay, so this reaction force always always lies on this normal axis. Okay. <clears throat> these three components are fixed forces for solving the problems for inclined plane problems these three are the fixed values okay 
Now we have to consider direction of motion of a block. Okay, here the direction of motion of a block is uh, downward direction. So you have to consider opposite frictional force. Okay, frictional force always acts parallel to the support. Here the support is inclined. So you have to consider a frictional force along the plane. Okay, along the inclined plane. Here the direction of motion is downward. So you have to consider opposite direction for friction. Okay. Now you have to consider this frictional force as it is here. Okay. Frictional force always lies on this inclined plane. Okay. So here F equal to mu r. F equal to mu r is the frictional force. Mu is the coefficient of friction. R is the normal reaction. Okay. By using these four components, you have to determine unknown values. Mu or reaction force or friction force. Okay. So this is the uh, first condition. Now, coming to the another condition. Okay. This one also rough inclined plane makes an angle alpha with respect to horizontal. Now I am placing a block, block of weight W. Okay. Now I am applying a pulling force parallel to the inclined plane. Okay. This pulling force parallel to the inclined plane. Okay. This is the direction of motion of a block. When you are applying the pulling force, okay, then the direction is like this. Okay. Observe carefully. <clears throat> this is the direction of motion of a block. Okay. So the direction of motion of a block is upward direction up the plane. Okay. Now you have to convert this uh, diagram, given diagram into forces diagram. That is a free ball diagram. First of all, you have to consider a inclined plane and you have to consider a self weight W. Already we know that self weight always acts vertically downwards. Vertically downwards. Okay, this self weight always acts vertically downwards. And also this self weight makes an angle alpha with respect to the normal reference axis. Okay, this is a normal reference axis. This is a parallel reference axis. Okay. So this is self weight always makes an angle alpha with respect to the normal axis. Okay. Now, normal reaction force always lies on normal axis. Okay. This reaction force makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the inclined plane. Okay. Now you have to convert this W in vertical load into along the component and normal to the component. So this is the <coughs> normal component. Okay. Here W cos alpha, W cos alpha and W sin alpha. These two are the components for uh, vertical load W and the capital R is the reaction force lies on a normal plane. Okay. Now you have to consider a direction of motion and pulling force. Here the up applied force is P. Okay, the direction of uh, this applied force is right side. So the you have to consider this applied force is parallel to the inclined plane. Okay, now I am considering here this one is the parallel force P. Okay, this is the applied force, and the direction of motion of a block is upward direction. Then you have to consider opposite frictional force. Okay, frictional force always acts opposite to the applied force. So this is the direction of a frictional force. Frictional force always lies on inclined plane. Lies on plane. Okay. So you have to consider these two forces as it is. Okay. So this one is the applied force P, and this one is the opposite frictional force F, F equal mu r. Now these five forces are the free ball diagram for this uh, condition. By using these five components, you have to determine unknown value, reaction force and uh, coefficient of friction and friction force. Okay. By using uh, these fundamentals, uh, you have to solve the following problems. Okay, this is a given question. Okay, an effort, effort of 200 newtons is required just to move a certain body up an inclined plane of angle 15 degrees. The force acting parallel to the plane 
if the angle of inclination of the plane is made 20 degrees, the effort required again applied parallel to the plane if is found to be 230 newtons. Find the weight of the body and the coefficient of friction. Find the weight of the body and the coefficient of friction. Here, from given question, first you have to identify the given values. Here, there are two cases. Okay, case one, case two. In case one, the pulling force is 200 newtons and the angle of inclination of the plane is 15 degrees. Okay, in first case, the given effort or uh, given pulling force is 200 newtons and the angle of inclination of the plane is 15 degrees. The applied force is parallel to the plane. Okay. So here, this is the case one. In case one, the inclination of the plane is 15 degrees. Okay. And W is the weight of a block, 200 newtons. Sorry. Sorry. The weight of a block is not given. You have to find out the weight of the block. So W is not given. Okay. Only applied force is given. The pulling force 200 newtons is given. Okay, 200 newtons. Uh, force is acting parallel to the plane. Okay, so parallel to the inclined plane, 200 newtons. This is the case one. Okay, in second case, here in first case, uh, the this is the direction of motion of a block. Okay. This is the direction. In second case, again, uh, this plane makes an angle 20 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Okay. Here you can observe. In second case, the angle of inclination of the plane is 20 degrees. Okay. 20 degrees with the horizontal. And the effort required is uh, 230 newtons. Okay. The pulling force is 230 newtons find the weight of the body and the coefficient of friction okay so in second case the angle of inclination is 20 degrees and the applied force is 230 newtons this one also parallel to the inclined plane in both the cases we don't know the value of self weight w okay these two blocks are same okay but the angle of inclination and uh, pulling force is different. Okay. By using these two cases, you have to determine the unknown value, W, self weight of a block and the coefficient of friction between the block and surface. Okay. You have to determine the coefficient of friction between the block and surface. Okay. So this is the direction of uh, motion of a block. Okay, this is the direction. Given values are here in first case, the pulling force P1 equal to 200 newtons. In second case, the pulling force is uh, uh, sorry. In second case, the pulling force is uh, 230, 230 newtons. The self weight of your body, let W is the self weight of your body. Alpha 1 is the angle of inclination of the block 1 and alpha 2 is the angle of inclination of the block 2. Okay. Here coefficient of friction, mu is the coefficient of friction. Okay, you have to find out these two values, W and mu. In both the cases, the effort is applied parallel to the inclined plane. Here you can observe. In both the cases, the applied force P, P equal 200 newtons, P equal 230 newtons, applied parallel to the inclined plane. Okay. And the body is just move up. Okay. The body, body is just move upward. Okay. Hence, the force of friction will be acting downward direction. Okay. Now I am considering a case one. First of all, you have to solve case one. 
from case one, you after resolving the forces, you can get the two equations for determining the value of uh, W and mu k. So in case one, the angle of inclination of the plane is 15 degrees k. That is alpha, alpha equal to 15 degrees. So W is the self weight of a block. 200 newtons is the applied force. Okay. Now you have to consider a direction of motion of a block. This is the direction of motion of a block. Okay. So this is the direction. Now you have to convert uh, these forces like this. Now you have to convert these forces along the parallel axis and normal axis. Okay, along the inclined plane and normal to the inclined plane. Okay, so this self weight always acts vertically downwards like this, and the opposing reaction force always makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the inclined plane. Okay. Now you have to convert this self weight W into two components. That is a W cos alpha and W sin alpha. These two are the components for self weight W. Okay. Now R1 is the reaction force. R1 is the reaction force. Okay. This reaction force always lies on normal axis. Okay. Now this is a applied force. P1 equal 200 newtons. So this one, this force, applied force is parallel to the inclined plane. So this applied force makes an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal. That means uh, this applied force also lies on this uh, parallel axis. And this one F equal to mu R1 is the opposing force. That is a frictional force. Frictional force always acts opposite to the direction of motion. Okay, here the direction of motion is upward then the friction force is downward. Okay, you have to convert these two forces here. F equal mu R1 is the friction force and P equal to 200 newtons is the applied force. Okay, now by using these five forces, you have to determine reaction force and self weight. Here P1 is the self weight. Self, sorry, P1 is the applied force. P1 is the applied force, 200 newton. W is the self weight, alpha equal to 15 degrees. U is the coefficient of friction, R1 is the reaction force. Okay. From a free body diagram. Okay. Yeah, W, we don't know, P1 equal to 200 newtons and uh, normal reaction R equal to, we don't know, mu. Also, we don't know. F1 equal to mu R1 is the frictional force for case one. Alpha equal to 15 degrees. Okay. Now, by using uh, these five forces, you can get the value of uh, reaction force and the coefficient of friction. Okay. First of all, you have to resolve all the forces normal to the inclined plane. Okay. R1, W cos alpha, these two are the forces along the normal plane. So sum of all vertical forces, Fy equal to zero, W cos alpha acts vertically downwards. So minus W cos alpha, R1 upward action. So plus R1 minus W cos alpha equal to zero. From this equation, reaction force R1 equal to W cos 15 degrees. Here alpha equal to 15 degrees, okay. So this is the value of reaction force R1, okay. Here the value of W is not given. So you have to determine the value of W, okay. Now you have to resolve all these uh, horizontal forces along the along the parallel plane. For right side direction, you have to consider positive sign. For left side direction, you have to consider negative sign. So plus mu r one plus w sine alpha minus p equal to zero. Here p equal to two hundred newtons. So w sine alpha plus mu r one equal to p one. So that value p one equal two hundred newtons. Now we have to substitute value of R1 in this equation. So W sine alpha plus mu into W cos 15, de 15 degrees equal 200. Okay. From this equation, 
you have to you have a equation one okay this is the equation number one in this equation w is the sulfate mu is the coefficient of friction we don't know the value of w and mu okay so by using uh, this equation you have to determine the value of w and mu okay in second case also we will get a another equation okay from this equation and from uh, another equation you will get the value of w and mu now consider a case two problem now the angle of inclination of the plane is 20 degrees and this is the position of a block this is the applied force 230 newtons okay when you are applying the pulling force then this is then the direction of motion of the block is upward okay so this is the direction direction of a block now you have to convert these forces along the along the parallel plane and uh, along the normal plane so w is the self weight of the block okay and uh, r2 r2 is the reaction force between the block and uh, inclined plane okay now you have to convert this w force into two components along the parallel plane normal to the parallel no, normal to the inclined plane w cos alpha w sin alpha these two components are uh, w these two are the components for uh, self weight w here reaction force r2 now you have to consider the pulling force here this one this pulling force also parallel to the inclined plane so this uh, pulling force also lies on uh, this parallel axis okay and this one is the opposing force okay f equal mu r2 is the opposite the opposite frictional force frictional force always lies on lies on uh, support parallel parallel to the plane so this is the friction force f equal mu r2 and this is the pulling force p equal to 30. okay from these five forces you have to determine the value of r2 and uh, mu okay here p2 equal to 230 newtons and alpha equal to 20 degrees okay here alpha equal to 20 degrees now I am considering the free body diagram. Okay, so here W we don't know P two equal to two thirty. Here the P two equal to two thirty. Sorry, two thirty newtons. P two equal to two thirty newtons. Okay, resolve the forces along the normal plane. Then you will get the value of R two. Resolve the forces. Here R2 upward action so plus R2 minus W cos 20. Okay, so R2 equal to W cos 20. This is the normal reaction R2. Now resolve all the forces along the parallel plane. These three forces are the forces lies on a parallel plane. Yeah, for right side action you have to consider positive sign. For left side action you have to consider minus sign. Okay, W sine. 20 plus the mu r2 mu r2 mu r2 minus uh, p2 equal to 0 here the p2 value is uh, 230 230 newtons okay p equal to 230 newtons okay here the value of p2 equal to 230 230 newton so this is the equation now substitute the value of uh, r2 R2 in this equation. This is R2. So you have to substitute the value of R2 equal W cos 20 in this equation. Then you will get the another equation. Now this is the final equation. Okay. Here W into sine 20 plus uh, mu cos 20 equal 230 newtons is the equation number two. Here W is the self weight of a block, mu is the coefficient of friction. Okay. Now, from equation one and two, from equation one and two, you will get the value of W and uh, coefficient of friction mu. So, for determining the value of W and mu, 
you have to dividing the equation two by equation one. Okay, this is the equation number two. This is equation number one. Okay, here you can observe w w both are cancelled. Okay, so this is the value of uh, from cross multiplication you will get the another equation. Okay, so here here you, from this equation you can observe mu is the unknown force. Okay, so for determine the value of uh, coefficient of friction you have to consider this equation. Okay, from this equation, the coefficient of friction mu equal to 0 0.26. Okay, this is the value of coefficient of friction between the block and the rough plane. From the value of uh, coefficient of friction, yeah, uh, you have to substitute this coefficient of friction mu value in equation one or equation two. Then after you will get the value of uh, self weight from equation two or uh, equation one. You will get the value of a self weight w okay by substituting this value mu value in this equation or in this equation you will get the value of self weight w so w is the self weight of a block 392.3 newtons okay this is the final answer for this uh, problem now coming to the another problem okay this is a second example problem it is very important for an exam point of view okay this is the given question a body of weight 15 newtons here the w is 15 newtons he is resting on a rough inclined plane as shown in figure the body is tied up by a horizontal string which has a tension of 5 newtons find the friction force the normal reaction of the inclined plane and the coefficient of friction between the surfaces of contact okay this is the question from the question first of all you have to identify the given values Okay. Here the self weight of the block W equal to 15 newtons. Okay, W equal 15 newtons. And this one is a horizontal string. Okay, horizontal string. So the tension in the string is uh, 5 newtons. Okay, the force in the string cable is 5 newtons. Okay, this value is uh, 5 newtons. This is a tension T. Tension T equal to 5 newtons. Okay. Self weight W equal to 15 newtons. And the angle of inclination of the plane alpha, alpha equal to 45 degrees. This value is alpha, angle of inclination of the plane, 45 degrees. Okay, from these values, you have to determine the coefficient of friction between the block and plane. Okay, and the friction force, F, F equal to mu R, and uh, normal reaction R, and the coefficient of friction mu. Okay, so first of all, you have to determine the value of normal reaction. After that, you have to determine the value of coefficient of friction. Okay, these two are the values you have to determine. So given values are self weight of your block uh, W equal 15 newtons and the tension in the string 5 newtons, normal reaction R between the block and uh, surface, coefficient of friction mu, okay, friction force F equal to mu R. Switch. Okay, from these values, you have to determine the value of a normal reaction and coefficient of friction. This is alpha equal to 45 degrees. Okay, this is the given figure. From the given figure, first of all, you have to convert this uh, given figure into free boy diagram. So here, this is a parallel reference line. This one is a normal reference line. Okay, here, the, this is a string. Okay, this is string having a tension 5 newtons okay the direction of this uh, tension is like this okay so here 45 degrees as a angle of inclination so this tension also makes an angle 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal okay 
so the, di the direction of the block is downward direction okay there is no pulling forces so the direction of the block is a downward direction okay so yeah this is the direction of a motion of a block downward direction now you have to convert uh, this this forces these forces into vertical and uh, horizontal forces here the sulfate w always acts vertically downwards and the normal reaction always uh, lies on a normal axis like this this is the normal reaction r this normal reaction makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the inclined plane and this is the direction of a frictional force f equal to mu r because the direction of motion of the block is downward direction okay the direction of a block is downward direction so the direction of a frictional force is opposite to the direction of a motion okay so this is the given tension t equal 5 newtons okay these all are the forces acting on the block now we have to consider these forces along the along the inclined plane and normal the inclined plane okay this is a parallel inclined plane and a normal inclined plane normal to the inclined plane okay we have to convert these forces along the inclined plane and normal to the inclined plane so first of all i am I am going to convert this W sulfate into two components. Okay, this sulfate always makes an angle alpha, alpha with respect to the inclined or normal axis. Okay, this sulfate makes an angle alpha with respect to this axis. Okay, now you have to convert this W force into two components W cos alpha and W sin alpha. These two are the components for sulfate W. Okay. Now you have to convert this reaction force as it is. Always normal reaction lies on normal axis. Okay. Now you have to consider this friction force as it is. Okay. This friction force always lies on parallel plane. Okay. Now you have to convert this tension into two components. Okay. This uh, tension here from this diagram, you can observe this tension tensile force 5 newtons makes an angle 45 degrees 45 degrees with respect to the, the friction force so you have to convert this tension 5 newtons into two components along the inclined plane and normal to the inclined plane like this these two are the components for uh, tension okay here yeah, this is a adjacent side this is a opposite side so for adjacent sides you have to consider cos theta and for opposite sides, you have to consider sine theta. Okay. Now, from uh, these six forces, okay, from these six forces, you have to determine the value of uh, normal reaction and normal reaction and coefficient of friction mu. Now, this is a free body diagram for this condition. Now, I am considering the free body diagram as it is. So, now resolve all the forces along the inclined plane okay these three are the forces along the inclined plane so resolve and these two are the forces along the normal plane so from normal plane you have to consider reaction force w cos alpha t sin 45 okay for upward action you have to consider positive sign. for downward direction you have to consider negative sign okay so plus r minus t sin 45 minus w cos alpha okay from this equation, normal reaction R equal to 14.14 newtons is the reaction force between the block and inclined plane. Okay. Now resolve all the forces along the parallel plane. These three are the forces on the parallel plane. So for right side action, you have to consider positive sign. For left side action, you have to consider negative sign. So plus uh, mu R plus t cos 45 minus w sin alpha these two are these three are the forces okay from this equation now you will get the value of uh, mu r that is a frictional force friction force mu r equals 7.07 .07 newtons mu r is the frictional force okay now you have to substitute the value of r reaction force in this equation now you will get the value of uh, coefficient of friction mu, mu equal to 0 0.5. There is no units for uh, coefficient of friction. Okay. 
So this is the value of frictional force. This is the value of coefficient of friction. This is the value of normal reaction force. Okay, normal to the plane. Okay, this is the answer for this problem. Okay, in next class I will explain more problems on uh, inclined plane, inclined planes. Okay.